make sure it's working. Okay, that's working. All right, foxes, time for our next math lesson. We are going to focus on a standard that you're going to be working on in second grade, so you are ready for second grade since we're almost there. And our focus today is going to be measurement. Measurement. So I want you to think about measurement. I want you to think, what does it mean to measure? And turn and talk to your neighbor. Go. All right. I want you to share me with me. What does it mean to measure, Mr. Bradley? That's right. What do you think, Edward? A ruler? You measure with a ruler. <gasps> you could measure with a stick. You could measure with a pencil. You could measure with wood. So we were using something to measure so far. What were we practicing our measuring with? Cubes. With what? Cubes. Cubes. That's right. We were measuring with cubes, just like these. These are called a non-standard unit of measure. So if you're using cubes to measure, if you're using paper clips to measure, or like on our test, if you're using pencils to measure, each one of those things is a non-standard unit because not everybody uses that. Just the first grade uses that, right? So a non-standard unit, can you say that for me? Non-standard unit. A non-standard unit is something that not everybody uses. So if I went and told Mrs. Mosier that um, Avelina's watch is three cubes long, she'd say, what are you talking about? I don't use cubes to measure things. But we did when we were practicing for first grade math. Now, today we're going to work on standard units. Standard units of measure are things that everybody uses so that everybody knows what you're talking about. And Edward hit the nail right on the head when he said a ruler. So you're right, Edward. So what's this one called? A ruler. a ruler. And a ruler is a standard unit of measure. So if I went to Mr. Buckle and I said, uh, my book is seven inches long, he knows what I'm talking about because he knows how big an inch is. So we're going to practice with rulers today. What's it called again? Ruler. And what kind of unit will we be using with the rulers? A standard unit, but what is on a ruler? How do we measure Numbers, Numbers are on the rulers. Hmm. Numbers are on the rulers, and you put it on, and it shows how many numbers it goes to. That's right. I need two helpers that can pass on the rulers. Uh, Miss Naomi, Ruby Gray, Mr. Jose, thank you. When you get it, I want you to take a minute and look at it. I want you to notice it. What do you notice about that ruler? What do you see on it? Think about what kind of units you might be using today. That's a long ruler. I'm Okay. 
What did you notice? What do you see on your ruler? If you are listening to Miss Kimani, put your ruler on your desk so that you can hear her voice. Thank you. Go ahead, Kilani. What did you notice? That's right. She noticed there are numbers on here. What else did you notice, Miss Abelina? Excellent. She said, I noticed that there are little lines and big lines. What else did you notice, Miss Liana? The numbers are upside down. Oh, did anyone else notice that? Yeah. The numbers are upside down and the big numbers are upside down. That's right. Some of the numbers are upside down and some of them are right side up. That's a good observation. Any other observations? Jennifer. Oh, raise your hand if your ruler has holes in it. Oh, raise your hand if your ruler does not have holes in it. Hmm. So I'm wondering if some rulers have holes and some rulers don't have holes, do you think you need the holes to measure? No. No, the holes aren't necessary for measuring. I'll let you know the holes are actually, if you want to put this into your binder to keep it safe, the holes are there so you can keep the ruler in your binder and it won't get lost. So we won't use the holes for measuring today. Any other observations that you made? Natalie. There's a little gold part at the end. There's a little gold part. Raise your hand if you have a little gold part or a little... What is that made of, by the way? Metal. It's made of metal. It's Raise your hand if you have a little metal part. It's super. Yeah. The metal there. What do you think that metal would be? What metal? The metal is inside to keep it hard. Oh, maybe it's inside to keep it hard. It means so it doesn't bend. So it doesn't break. Good plan. Please don't try to break my ruler. Because it will be broken. Okay. So lots of good observations. So I'm going to share with you some things about your ruler. Your ruler can be used to measure in two ways, okay? There are two sets of numbers, right? So one set of numbers goes all the way to what? 30. To 30. Turn it so you're looking at the side that goes all the way to 30. So those numbers are facing up. Okay? If you're looking at the side, turn it this way, Mrs. Sam. This way, so that you can see going all the way to 30. Going all the way to 30, those are centimeters. Okay, say centimeters for me. Centimeters. centimeters. So centimeters are a standard unit of measure. They actually use centimeters a lot in science. Okay, so we'll be using those. And they also use them in lots of places all around the world. Okay, so centimeters is a good standard unit of measure. Okay, so how far do centimeters go again? 30. To 30. Say it again for me. 30. 30. So how many centimeters is this ruler? 30. 30 monkeys? 30. 30. 30 centimeters. Say it for me again. 30, 30 centimeters. Good job. Now, take your ruler and flip it over and tell me how far do the numbers go this time? 12. 12. That's right. So on this side where the numbers go to 12, now we're looking at inches. Say it for me. In inches. Raise your hand if you already know what an inch is. Okay, so an inch is another standard unit of measure. And it goes all the way to what again? 12. 12. So how many inches is this ruler? 12, 12 inches. inches. Good job. And coincidentally, do you know how long this ruler is in feet? Yep. No, How many feet is this? Do you know? 230. Good it, guess. It, it's three and a half. Ooh, good Eleven. guess. This is actually one foot. So this ruler is one foot long. But it's not so even let me long. ask you, how many inches are in one foot? <laughs> 30. Look at the ruler. How far 12. do the numbers go for inches? 12. To 12. So how many inches in one foot? 12. 12. There are 12 inches in one foot. Good job. I did it on my arm and it was two and a half. We'll do a little practice. All right. 
So leave your ruler facing so that the 12, number all the way to 12 is on the top, so inches are facing up, okay? And I want you to put your ruler on the top of your desk so that we can do a little bit of practice. Slide it all the way to the top so your hands are empty. In five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. So we're gonna do a little practice up here. Of course, I have my own nifty difty high fangled ruler for here. Thank you, Sunny. All right, so notice on my ruler here, I also have numbers that go all the way to 30. And what sign is that called? Centimeters. Centimeters. Good job. Then I also have the numbers that go all the way to 12. What are those called? Inches. Inches. Good job. So I've got my ruler here, and we need to talk about how to measure. Now, do you remember when we were measuring with cubes? Yeah. Where did we have to start? are measuring uh, on our cubes. On the line. dark line. On the dark line and right at the top. Right at the end. Good job. We had to start it way over on the end. Now, something a little bit tricky about a ruler is you don't start way at the very end. Okay? There's a special place to start on a ruler. It's the very first line. Some rulers have an extra little space in the beginning and some don't. So if we're all going to measure in the same way, we have to start at the exact same spot. So the very first line on my ruler is where I'm going to start. And I think I'll measure my little post-it notes. So take a look. I got my little post-it notes. I'm going to line it up on my ruler starting at that very first line, not just the edge. Like the cubes. You're right. Very similar to the cubes. And then just like with our cubes, we're going to bounce and count how many. So let's bounce one. Two. So how long are my post-it notes? Two. Two inches. Two. Somebody said it. Inches. Say it for me again. Two, Two inches. inches. One little Good job. Square. One little square is an inch. That's right. One little square, one little jump is an inch. So we always have to say what, how many, uh, what our unit is. All right, let's try our pen. It's just the same as the block. Okay, let's try our pen. We'll start at the very first line. Not at the edge, but at the first line. And let's bounce it and count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five inches. Ooh, now here's Six. tricky. Very tricky. Think in your brain. Don't tell me out loud, but think in your brain. Yeah. If this is five inches and this is six inches, I want you to think in your brain, is it closer to five or closer to six? Think in your brain. Turn and tell your neighbor. Five. Six. Mm. So here is the edge of my pen, the very end of my pen, and here is five, and here is six. Do you remember doing this with cubes? Yeah. Is, is the end of the pen closer to the five or closer to the six? Six. That's right. So how long would our pen be if we were doing this? Six inches. inches. Good job. That's a tricky one, right? Just like with our um, cubes. Let's do another one. Let's take a look. We've got our notepad. We're going to start where? At the very end. At the very first line. line. Start at the very first line. Let's count it. Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, is it exactly on the three? Yeah. Oh, very close. So is it closer to the three or closer to the two? Three. three. Closer to the three. So how long is the note, uh, the stamp pad? Three, three. inches, inches long. long. Very nice job. Excellent. Would you like an opportunity to measure? Yeah. All right. Grab your ruler again. Make sure that you have it on two, uh, the 12 inches facing up. And we need two helpers who can help you with those things. So when you get your post, you know, where will you start? On the, on the where? On the very first line. On the very first, first line. line. Good job. You start on the very first line. I want you to take a look and see how long is that post note. You don't have to one. Two heavy, like this. Huh? Two heavy, like this. 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 Two heavy, like this.
It's not for putting me on the face. No, I hate it. It sticks on her desk. Oh, yes, it will stick on your desk so it'll stay still for you. There you go. It'll stick because it's sticky. No. That's a sticky note, yes. All right. Put that sticky note down on your desk. Grab that ruler. Make sure you're looking at the side that shows inches. Side that shows inches. Where will you line it up? On the first line. So get it all lined up. Now count it out for me. Remember, where do we need to start? Double check where you start. Three inches. Double check where you start. Excellent. If you think you know how long your um, posty note is, show me one finger in the air. Double check. Are you looking at the sign that shows 12? Goes all the way to 12. And let's put our posty note on this side so that the posty note is touching the numbers that you're looking at. So double check. All right. Turn and tell your neighbor how long it is. Three. Three. Good. Tell me again. Three inches. Good job. It's three inches long. Thank you for sharing. Next. I want one of your partners to take out your dry eraser. One partner to take out your dry eraser. I'll take out mine now. All right. As a team, I want you to measure your dry eraser. Find out how long it is. Oh, your dryer can use your white part. All right, measure it out. Let's see how long it is. Line it up. Count it out. Five inches. Just All right, double check your partner. Make sure that they're lining it up correctly. All right, one finger if you know the answer. Tell your neighbor. Five inches long. Tell me. Five inches long. Very nice job. Excellent. Go ahead and put the dry eraser away. Now I want you to pull out one color crayon. Line it up. Decide where you need to start. The other side. It's to be used for what? 
Measuring. Measuring. I want you to explore the room. I want you to measure whatever you choose and, and then share with your partner how long it is, okay? I'm going to give you about four minutes to do this and then you're going to have to bring one of those objects back to your desk. So make sure that it's something you can measure with your ruler. Okay. That's an excellent point, Jose. So Jose said, make sure it's something that's not giant. Like for instance, should I measure my stone? No. No. You, you need your other bigger one. That's right, I need my bigger ruler. Do you remember what it's called? Yeah. Yardstick, that's right, I need a yardstick. So try to think of something that is less than one foot so you can practice lining it up and measuring. Any questions for me? No. All right, go. I'm